Hello everybody and welcome back to Swords and Magic and Stuff where uh, Am I in, 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 the, in, oh yeah, okay, it looks like I'm possibly back in the inn. Yes, in uh, uh, Hope Harbor, is it called? So, I'm guessing we should start with whatever we want to do around here today. And I was going to see if there was like a, a stables or anything around here, because I probably ran past it like a hundred times. And I bet I could get a mount or something. So let's uh, let's go and have a look. I mean, I've certainly not seen anything before, but there was definitely like a stables, wasn't there? And and uh, in the other place, and I don't have any mounts to go in that stables. And I was wondering if there was like any way that I might be able to, I don't know, find a stables somewhere. And Hope Harbour would be the place, I guess. To find your first, like, early mounts, I would imagine, you know. Maybe, maybe I, my giant, the giant tortoise is the first one. Possibly. Entirely possible, but I'm going to have a quick look around. So I've looked at the little shops down the dockside there. Cove there. Um, there's a place that's going to be a dance studio. I think, anyway. What is that place with the community farm? Uh, hobbyist farmer Josie. Gosh, my crops are sure looking good this year. Were you interested in learning how to farm? Yes. Simple. You need some nice rich soil. There are tons of community garden plots around Tiruwin. You'll need seeds and a watering can too. Make sure to water your plants when they look thirsty. Experienced farmers can even harvest seeds along with their crops. Uh, where do I get seeds? I find them everywhere. I get mine from Ramshackle mostly, but there's an amazing farmer's market in the farmlands. Okay, the farmlands. We haven't been there before. So you make pies and lemonade. I wonder if I should buy some lemonade. What does lemonade taste like? It tastes of plus one recovery, plus one haste. Makes me go faster. A tiny bit. Not really noticeably, but... Uh, so this is a training arena. That's the building site. Let's see if they've got any more quests for me up here. No, no. Okay. Community garden, a load of houses. So if there is like a stables or anything anywhere, then it's certainly not around here. I haven't been up that path though. I'll have a look at that later. Community garden. Different houses. I yeah, definitely I'm not seeing any kind of stable. Oh, there's a chest here, though, regardless. So yeah, that's quite nice. That's an iron chest. Okay. Did that mean I had an iron key? That's kind of annoying if I've used up an iron key. Alright, I'm going to go up the top here and see what I can find. It is this way. Okay. Like 90% of this game is exploration, so. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that was annoying! I was nearly there as well. Grr. some copper to mine and a chest well that's not too awful to get my pickaxe back onto my hotbar I could do with a bigger hotbar than that honestly but never mind so yeah anywhere I see copper that was gold oh okay 
kind of need copper more, but gold will be fine. Okay, so you go down the steps next to uh, the herbalist's house. Interesting. Okay, so I want to get onto this tower. Oh, look how they've used their planters. That's so cute, and I love it. I think it's really sweet. And I can put planters anywhere I want, but I'm kind of like saving them until I get my own place. All right, we'll try again. I can't believe. Oh, there's more copper over there. Well, I can believe there's more copper, and there's also like stuff that I didn't pick up earlier as well. So that's enough for one more copper bar. Okay, let's try again. There was someone up the top here, so I want to talk to them, but like I totally fell off because I'm a muppet. But then, like you fall this game, you fall off things and you find cool stuff, so it's like amazing. Wow, Hagen, the old sailor. Boy. I sure hope the ferry gets working again soon. I love watching that little guy go back and forth. Okay, can I use the telescope? No. Man. But it's a nice view, to be fair. It's a very pretty view. Okay, was there anything else I wanted to do around here? Let's have a look, see. Uh, I've done all the wooden planks already. I've got a couple of hides that can go into the box. I can make one more copper. I kind of think I need to just do a bit more than that, really. Um, I still need to find the hat. That's kind of annoying me, that one. But it, it's a bit like the guy that was hiding. It's probably hidden somewhere. A hey, yeno. Know. Okay, well, here's the stables then. Go. Like totally, totally, obviously here, and I kept going to like the blacksmiths and stuff, and it makes sense that the stables would be opposite the blacksmith. Right, Leroy, hello. Howdy, Sheila. What can I do for you? What did you have for sale? I have a question about mounts. Um, how do I ride my mount? Well, to start, you need a saddle. I can sell you a very affordable saddle if you need. Okay, you saddle from your inventory or hotbar. Okay. Once you've got a saddle, you can speak with me again to open your stables and view all your owned mounts. Simply choose one to be your active mount, then mount up by using your saddle. You can use it again to dismount if you want. I've been running around all this time, and I finally found a ma the mounts. It's ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I got it, thanks. Okay, so let's buy a saddle for... It's only 100 as well. Had that money for ages. Okay. So now let's chat again. What do you have for sale? You're in luck. I'd love to sell the she famous she a horse. They cost 300 gold. Is that okay with you? Actually, if it was four 100 for the saddle and 300 for the mount, it's not long since I've had enough money to do that, to be fair. Not a problem. Which one do you want? Chestnut, black or white? I think I'm going to have a white horse. You unlocked a new mount. Great. Thank you for your patronage. Do you have questions about owning a mount? Nope. Goodbye. Okay, so I've got this saddle now. Oh, so just right click on it to, to mount. Oh, this is wonderful. And I can, oh, I can't go first person on the mount. Okay, cool. But I can zoom out a little bit. Well, this is a, a lot more fun, but I imagine um, as you get better mounts, in, in the same way as you probably get better animal companions, they will probably start to go faster. There not seem to be a sprint or anything. I wonder if I'm good enough for the goblins yet. Change your mind about dealing with those goblins? I can handle it. If you say so, down this path is the Green Skull Camp. It's crawling with goblins. I'm not suggesting you go down there, but defeating a few of them would send a message. The Green Skulls have got footholds in several caves around the island. Some of their scouts hide in bushes and jump out at unsuspecting merchants and travellers. Defeating those ones would be your best bet. Just be careful and do what you can. I'll pay you for a job well done. Okay, cool. I feel like I am kind of getting there. Right, one thing I do want to do is head down here. 
to the beach. I want to go in this little cave. Because I imagine I'm going to be a lot better equipped to go in here now. Right, so I would like Rusty to come and help. Oh, you're not even doing anything to me, that's fine. There are many, many crabs in here. Which might be an issue. Ah, Krusty, help! Okay, this cave is difficult. Run away. Find a rock to stand on. She loves famous crab bashing rock. Poor Krusty doesn't stand a chance, eh? I'll just take some coconuts in a minute as well. They don't respawn too fast. Got loads of stuff from them. That was awesome. Um, let's get some uh, some coconut juice down me. Come on, Krusty. Sorry I let you die again. Okay, was that all of them? Most of them. Most of the big ones. That one needs to go. Nice one, Crestacles. Okay, so. Uh, we've got a few things we can pick up. A Jed's doll. Hmm. Wasn't aware Jed had lost a doll, but I'm guessing that uh, if we find someone called Jed, they might be very grateful to get a doll. Iron ore, I'd rather have copper, but you know. A stickity stickity stick. Some shells and stuff. Really? Crusty. That's better. They need the big ones that are actually aggressive. Okay, so it looks like there's a bit of a jump in puzzle here. There's a big there's a chest that we can get here. Coal. Attack! Krusty, attack! Want some copper? There's one over here as well. There's some up on that ledge there too. Got to work out how to get up to these ledges. See, there'll be some point where I get like a triple jump or something and everything will suddenly be totally amazing. Um, stone. Okay, copper is seeming seemingly slightly elusive. and things to pick up as well. Um, okay. Krusty, you won't find it in the way, mate. Oh, 
no. I think I could do it if I could get my glider to deploy. Yep. There we go. Another nice ruby for me to sell. Shell. Don't even know what I picked up there. So I was able to get up to there. I don't. Maybe I could glide across. Well, we'll try it. A chance it might work. Oops. Okay, I've already messed it up. Good. Well done. Oh, I hate it when I press... I do the double jump, and then I press space again, and it doesn't do it. And you have to do it four times, and then and then you've lost the height. Okay. Oh, this is really annoying. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now then. I don't know how much little height I'm going to lose. Yeah, I lost too much height. That's fine. It's good to know, though. Super good to know. Yeah, so I'm I'm really not sure how I'm gonna get up there. Can I stand on Krusty? With some extra height. Now I'll leave it. There's a copper chest anyway, um, so it's not something I can open. I don't have the keys at the moment anyway, so I could come back if I wanted to. There was one chest in there, but yeah, I just wanted to see what's in the cave, just in case it was anything super awesome. Okay, I think next quest is going to be to go to the waterfall. We have a completely over overburdened inventory, which is probably causing us problems right now. So I also probably want to just go back to town and sort my inventory out. That sounded like goblins. There shouldn't be goblins around there, surely. They're like everywhere now. I'm not prepared for them. Oh gosh. Poor Krusty, I don't think he's going to survive that. But I'm going to ride off into the sunset and go and visit the bank. I'm not ready for the green skulls yet. I need to get 10 of them, which is going to be a nightmare. Because they're quite tough. I don't have very good gear yet. So let's get rid of seeds. Oh, no. Let's get rid of cubic sauce. I need to know who Jed is for that doll. The shiny is going to get sold. The gold is going to get stored. Stone is going to get stored. For now, anyway. Iron ore. Yeah, I'll sell. The spear, the sapphire, the ruby, the starfish, the crab claw. The meat, giant crab claws, for now anyway. If I want uh, crabs, then I'll get more uh, bones. Yeah, I can get more of those. Shiny thing, I've got, two, I've got loads of diamonds now, actually. Augment stone needs to go in. Coal. Um, probably my wood at this point. Coconut seed. That flimsy stone axe. I don't, I don't know if I should be using that or not, really. Um, I 
I don't know if using the stone axe means that I would get levels, whereas using this axe that's only got that's not got any levels on it would I, I just don't know. Um, thick hide that can go away. I think I'll keep that. I've got hide. I've got copper ore. I'm actually going to put all of those away. And the reason is I'm just going to like save them up and then keep checking on my banks. And eventually, I'll be able to sort like um, sort out enough for the ferry. So I like to sell that and 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 that. And that. In keeper's apron, I'll keep flimsy boat or um, these little forks off the little dudes, off the goblin, uh, sorry, the rats. And then we've got a few bits of, oh, and a sword, because I've got two swords right now. So now I've just got sword, bow, shield, axe, hammer, staff, coconut juice, cooked crab claw, watering can, Innkeeper's apron, saddle, and then some food and stuff. So I'm actually going to put the innkeeper. I'll, I'll try on the innkeeper's apron actually, just so we can see what it looks like. It's very cute, actually. It looks really good with my with my uh, goggles, but I do actually prefer being a mage because that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Being a goggled mage. Yeah, I'm still trying to work things out about this uh, this cap. Doug the dock worker. Have you got anything to say? Don't go telling the captain I'm slacking off. I'm just taking a quick break. Okay. Let's have a look around. I think I want to look around the boat again. Definitely stuff going on with Roxy. I, I do feel like... Oh, hello, the captain's on here now. Is this the same one that Rat Tail is on? Or is it the other boat down there? Oh yeah, it probably is the other boat down there. So Captain James is maybe nothing to do with the Rat Tail crew. Oh yeah, because they're down by the where the booze is. Alright. Chat to Roxy again. Roxy don't want to talk. Greg the dock worker. And then we've got Jenk. It has work to do apparently. I hope Gil can change my mind. Gil. Okay. Fitz's chest. Oh yeah, we already went in there. So, so is there someone called Gil? So Jenk. Chest around the back here that I hadn't got before. Something happened there. What did I pick up? An augment stone and a copper ingot. But something happened. Let me check my quest log. No, okay. But if I had missed that all these times, then there's maybe other stuff I've missed. The barrel up there. I kind of feel like I've done everything in this room though. But I've got a name now. Gil. So who is Gil and where are they and what do they do? Does Madame Swan maybe give me like hints, I wonder? Oh, okay. Oh 
bristles. Oh yeah, I need to tell old bristles. I heard that Blackbriar's got that letter. Mighty fine job, mate. You really do have the guts. Thanks. Is that all I get? If I find anyone called Gil, that would be really cool, but I don't think I'm gonna. This is another little boat. With an iron chest in it. And Abby Dozy. What's that sword? A flimsy wooden dagger. Oh, I haven't had a dagger before. That's interesting. The deal. I've managed to procure the funds for our deal. I know it's a bit late, but I'll be in Ramshackle Reef for another three days. If you still want the gold, I'll be waiting on the docks near the sweet sardine. I've got my men with me, so don't try anything funny. And you better have the amulet with you. I need to see it first to make sure it's the real deal. Dreg. Hmm. That's interesting. The drag is up to no good. Nothing up there. Okay. This is very interesting. Lots of stuff going on. There's an amulet involved. There's a cap that's gone missing. There's someone called Gil that I've not even seen. Um, so I feel a little bit like there's a lot going on and, and I haven't managed to sort of properly uh, work it all out yet. So, uh, hopefully it'll become clear to me later, you never know. Who's Gil? Or Jill. Gil, probably. No idea. Super happy to have my horse though. Okay, so the cap is nowhere nowhere closer to be getting to be getting done. But the Goblin Slayer, maybe. And Wiley's song. I think Wiley's song is way more likely to be something that I can do. Evidence that Dreg was in possession of Puck's amulet. Who's Puck? Well, if we ever find Puck, then... We shall know. Puck. So we've got we've got answers to quests that we don't have the person for. Which is rather hilarious. So yeah, gonna head up this trail and try and get round to the waterfall. Cause there's been quite a few things pointing me up there and I'm thinking that, that might be it might be time now to just go and Go and do that. And then maybe try to defeat Green Skulls, but they are a bit tricky. And I do feel like I, I'm a little bit underdressed right now. I, th I think I need to, to maybe done some more crap. Oh, there's like a little jelly cave. How super interesting. Oh, oh, well, that's not, not tarry. Oh gosh, okay. There's copper and stuff around here. Um. Maybe I should be in like more open space. Nice one, thanks, Krusty. Okay, let's go up here. So this looks like a well cool place to find. Um, it looks like possibly the way to the waterfall, but also a well cool place to find things to mine as well. So, oh, I need to sit up. Keep my posture right. So that definitely looks like it might be. Oh. Gold, emerald, copper. Perfect. I do need copper. 
Okay, it looks like there's a way down to the beach down there. But there might be a secret boat or something. But there's also like a staircase here. Okay. It looks like I can maybe go up there. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, let's um, carry on up the stairs. I think this must be the way to the top of the waterfall. There's also a ladder. Of course there's rats in the bushes. Of course there is. Stupid rats and their shiny things, I don't know. Okay, so um puzzling this out. There is a ladder all the way down. Where am I? Near the top of the waterfall, I think. You should be able to see a bit better. Oh, that chest looks funky and like I probably won't be able to open it at all. I think I'm on the top of the waterfall. It looks like there's someone's got a campfire over there. Okay. Hello. Try not to make you jump. Hello, Ralph. What do you suppose those things do? Good question. Have you ever wondered who built them and why they just keep pouring out water forever? I haven't. I mean, where does it all come from? Do you think it's magic? That would explain it. I bet Eben knows. Too bad he went back to his tower. He was real smart. Eben? Yeah, that old mage guy. You know, he was here studying those weird crystals. The bluish green ones. But he had to leave and he hasn't come back yet. When he comes back, I'm going to ask him where all this water comes from. He's got to know. He's like the smartest person in Tyrowin. Where can I find Eben? Oh, he lives in that really tall tower. My mum brought me to the Windless Woods once to see it. It's really neat. We didn't get to go inside, though. Only mages can go inside. Okay. I need to be finding Eben. I love all this stuff. Are you Lamberg? Yes, I'm looking for you. Oh, uh, hello there, citizen. Please be on your way. It's, I'm on official guard business. Okay, bye. So I'm guessing we are at the top of the waterfall now. Oh, yes, that would count as the top of the waterfall. Uh, uh, okay, so are we, are we in the right place? Let's just get the right quest up. So Wiley's song. Apparently I have not yet visited the top of the waterfall, so maybe I need to glide on down there or something. There's loads of stuff to mine up here though. I've probably gone past loads of it. Never seem to find copper though, it always seems to be like other stuff. Okay, so we have now uh, visited the waterfall, the top of the waterfall. Wow, look at all those copper uh, chests down there as well, under the waterfall. There's also like a weird green stone. from the other side. Okay, there's several green stones around. Need to kill more rats to get more copper keys. That looks like a copper one. Yay! Slowly getting there. 
Hey, you guys. Clyde! Hello. I'm oh, sorry, G-Lab. I was just looking for my missing goggles. Anyway, I guess you probably heard about the new contraption I just got in. Or are you here about a glider? Um, new shipment? Oh, you're going to love it. I sent a glider over to a friend in Bone Reach, and she loved it so much. She built a special contraption just for it. I just got the shipment in today, and I'm selling them practically dirt cheap. You can get one off the table here. Some assembly required, of course. What do they do? I'm glad you asked. It's a real nifty contraption with a spinning fan in the centre. It's called a wind whirler. It creates your very own personalised updraft. You can place them wherever you want around the island, and then just glide over one to get a boost. Just watch your step. Tinkerers don't care much for safety. Another tinkerer proposed the alternate name. Foot grinder 9000. Can't blame them. Alright then. That's super, super duper awesome. Wow, I love the little bits and pieces you just find around the place here. I just jo dropped down and suddenly Clyde was there and like, what? Can I swim? Oh yeah, I can swim. I want to know what this is all about. cool around here. Well, I'm not sure how I'm going to get back. I might have to go down to the beach around by Clyde. Oh look, there's a little ladder here. Hang on, let's uh, follow that up. Uh, ladder? Gonna work for me? No? What kind of rubbish ladder are you? There we are. Well, you need to insult the ladder so that it would work. Okay. Okay. So I'm wondering if that is the mainland. That's where the ferry goes to. I could probably swim. Wow, look at the northern lights. Or, what, or whatever they are. Like those lights over there, they look amazing. And those must be like the Northlands where it's all cold. Oh, I want to go explore there. So much. How much have I got now in the way of like, I've got enough for another one, two, three copper or copper bars. I need to go to the lava caves anyway. So uh, I guess that's where we're going next. For Wiley's song. Okay, so I could probably go down around the beach. Might hurt to drop down here, but not too bad. And I found moonstone. Oh, what's that about then? A crescent-shaped stone used by moon elves to craft elven weapons and armor. Well, wow, good to know that that's around here. And that's worth eight. Glide on down. Get off me, rat. That's a very annoying. I need some more coconut juice in my life, I think. Probably need to pick some more of that up pretty soon. Yeah, if, I, if I'm ever like short of it, I'll just sell some wood or some shells or something. But yeah, it looked like there was a little camp or something around here, so I wanted to just check. Rare hat emporium. Hats for days. Hi, Mr. Simlingonton. Magic goods vendor. Miner's cap. Colourful jester's hat. They're super expensive though, wow. Well, there you go, Magic Hat Emporium, if you go up the beach. Just the beach at the top there. 
I love all the little things. I'm sure I'm missing so much stuff, but the things I am finding are absolutely delightful. Like, I don't know, a certain pirate in the hull of a ship. There's a load of shipwrecks around here. This is where all the shipwrecks are. There's any cool stuff around here. I wonder if I can, like, go and explore the shipwrecks. Oh yeah, another copper chest that I can't open. There's another iron chest that I can open though. Nice. to that red ship. Oh cool. Another silver chest which I cannot open because I do not have a silver key. Oh okay. Wow. Um. So trying to get to that red ship is slightly perilous. Oops. Serves me right for exploring right? Well, my ghost can't do much in the middle of the sea. I have to just wait for the countdown, I guess. <laughs> Alright then. So where are we now? We're actually kind of getting closer to the lava caves uh, by dying, so that was fine. I'm terrible. Shall we go in the slime cave? Mess up their day? They're just like minding their own business, being slimes. Ow. Yeah, you deal with that big slime, Krusty. I'll just deal with a small one over here, okay? slime blobs. There's also a nice chest in there and there's uh, some bits and pieces that I think I can harvest as well. It's not a big cave they've got though. It's just their little their, like their little home that I just invaded and like killed them all because I'm so nice. Flimsy wooden dagger. Breakable rock. I think that might be some more copper though for my boat uh, endeavours. Rusty, uh, I'm trying to pick stuff up off the ground here. One copper ore and like a, a small chest. Oh, we did get two chests at least in there. That's alright. One kind of hidden. Okay, so. Lava caves. Trying to remember the way to them. More corn seed, lovely. Um, where do we go? To the to lava caves. I've forgotten how to get there. Carry on up this way, I think. Really, Krusty, you're finding all the trouble, aren't you? However, I do need to kill boars because... Oh no, it's the boar king coming. Just a couple of boar elites. No, go and kill... Don't go and play with Krusty, okay? Ah. 
Okay, that one's down. I want your hides. Oh, really? Like, how many of them are there here? Look like a boss arcade. Like, I need to quickly get all the stuff. Before they all come and get me. And I need to run away like a coward. I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Or maybe not. Animal caretaker, Ned. Oh dear me, oh what am I gonna do? Hello? Ah, oh, please don't hurt me, goblins. Oh, you're not a goblin. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I'm quite busy right now, tending to a rather enormous problem. Maybe I can help. Hmm, perhaps you can. See, I'm an animal caretaker by trade. My name is Ned. I travel all over Tyrwin, checking in on rare and exotic species. Most recently, I've come here to Azura, to watch a most elusive beast, a rare griffin. It's nesting in the very highest peak of the island, right near here. It has to be returned to the nest. How can I help? I need somebody to bring the egg back to me and I'll try to get it back into the nest. Only a trained professional like myself can safely put it back. The goblins have a fort on the other side of the island. I bet that's where they're keeping the egg. Well, I'll try and help. So the goblins. Okay, well, it looks like the, the beasties have gone away now. Um, so... Thank you, Ned, for helping me out and allowing me onto the top of your house so I could run away from the boar. <sighs> Coconut or a bandage or something is required. And I need to try and get my butt back to the lava caves. And I completely forget how to get into them, but oh well. It's not here. This is the waterfall. I'll cross you back out. See, I'm in the right place. I'm just not quite making it up there. Um... This isn't right. This is not right, guys. This is all waterfall stuff. Well, I will take any any things I can find to harvest. Coal and stone, yay! No idea why I'm struggling so much, but the more I get lost, the more stuff I seem to find, so it's not so bad. I'm gonna get my horse out, I think, and then we'll run around until we find the right place. I think there would be goblins. And there are big bandits. And I think here would be a lava cave. Yes. I think I might need to put the saddle away at this point though. What is going on? Um, yeah, attack please, Krusty. Be super helpful. Okay, let's get into these lava caves again then. Again, there might be quite a lot of uh, copper to, to mine in here. We've got six, so that's another two bars. Which is rather wonderful. Get some more of this ember stuff. Usually by the time I come back around here, it's um, all respawned, which is quite nice. But it's a lot of stone and things. It's not, uh, it's bright in here today. 
the chests respawn too? Oh, I don't mind if they do. Right. Two copper ore, perfect. So we're now up to nine, so that's another three, four there. I think I needed quite a lot, to be honest. Which does also mean that that chest is back again. Oh, brilliant. This is the place to be for copper, isn't it? I, who thought I was going to fall in then? Because I did. because I think I have enough iron right now but I don't think I have enough copper ore it's totally totally I'll pick up some lava flowers I guess how how over encumbered are we quite <laughs> quite over encumbered I need to sell definitely feel like I'm horribly over encumbered but okay I think my friends that, that is uh, the heart of the lava caves visited now and I may as well go back go back around to the beginning and uh... a couple of copper ore which is wonderful yeah go back around to the beginning and uh, go and oh yeah more I mine rocks for iron and copper, then that's great. Back to Ramshackle Reef so that I can uh, head to the top of the tower for the fourth time. <laughs> nice, I got a critical hit then. Yeah, head back for the fourth time. See, this is what I need to do. And then I avoid that stupid rat that I always end up uh, annoying on the way down. I am slowly getting there with it. It's remembering little things like that. It is coming to me. <laughs> Hello. Weird Kai, the coconut dealer. Deal me some coconuts. Hopefully I'll get a little bit more uh, street cred with the people around here. I don't know if anyone else is going to give me any quests, but we'll try. See if some of them will talk to me. Do a bit of selling. Oh, and it's going to be the end of the episode as well. I want to finish this quest before the end, though. Sweet sardine. This was where this was where the, the thing was gonna go down. Stuff was gonna go down here. With dreg. And the amulet. Well I just don't know who to give that evidence to and, and all that sort of thing. And I really don't know who's got the hat. Um, okay, I think I'm going to need to go up the ladder. I don't know if I need to go all the way to the top. I think he did say go to the top of the, the tower, so I, I, I guess I have to go all the way up here. Yes. Collect pirate bunch. Where are we going to get Pirate Punch from, I wonder? Oh, you know what I need to do? This is why they give you tall stuff like this, right? 
Boop. So, where am I going to get Pirate Punch from? I have no idea. So, um, you know what? It probably is in the pub. Which means I need to go back up. But it was so worth it to glide off there. Let's try the pirate in here. Okay, so there's more. This is more like an inn in that you stay at. Rather than. Look at a silver chest there. I'm finding all these silver chests. I have no silver keys. So. We need to find a place of slightly more ill repute, probably over the other side then. Where they might sell some pirate punch. In fact, I'll, I'll see if it doesn't seem to give you a lot of help, generally. Um, I've seen all the views uh, uh, pirate... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wiley asked me to see, he also asked me to bring pirate punch. Mm. Who's gone sell me that then? Curios. I'm looking for a pub. A prison. What's near them? Quartermaster. Right. Oh, quartermaster, so that's not like a staff maker, that's like a person that's like counting all the gold. Boathouse. I need someone to sell me alcohol from a pirate buddy. I don't know where that would be. Mm, it sounds quite loud in here. Or somewhere nearby. Somewhere sounds very loud. They follow the sound of smashing glass to the reef. Dancing on the table at the pirate bar. Omar, did you see many uh, new faces around the reef? What can I do for you? What's good here? Pirate punch, it'll knock your socks off and put hair on your chest. Have one, trust me, it's good. All right. What did you eat? Well, usually we would, but we've been a bit short on stock recently. The quartermaster hasn't been so kind to us. You really should ask Dunstan up in the kitchen if you're curious. He knows more about the whole mess. Okay, maybe we do need to, to visit the, the uh, kitchen. Let's get a couple of pirate punches. There's a nice vegetable stew there, too. And then I really need to go down to the bottom and sell. But I'll hand the quest in first, and we'll sell at the beginning of next episode, because we're getting on in time, definitely. I've been having an awesome time exploring this, car this like, pirate cove. And I think we're getting there with the copper. We've got another 12, um, so we've got enough for another 4, uh, 5, 6 to be added. Oh, now there's a chest up there, isn't there? I love that the chests respawn. That's amazing. Get loads of cool stuff. Alright, I got your stuff. I got your views. Welcome back, kid. Have you visited all the places yet? Sure did. Did you remember some pirate punch? Of course. Wait, now why didn't you tell me about all the views you saw? Sure, I'll tell you. Wow, I wish I could have seen them for myself. Now for that song, let's see. Oh, the flowing water, the heat of the lava, this pirate town only on Azura. Yo-ho, yo-ho. So what do you think? I need some work. Ah, you're probably right. Anyway, thanks for the help. This is for you. Got some money or something? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was just some money. Wonderful. So I, the other thing that's quite important is some more pirate reputation. Hard to get pirate uh, reputation. The stolen cap is the only other one that will get me pirate reputation right now. But let's have a look how much I've got. 40. 
So I'm hoping that will be enough to, to start talking to some of the other pirates, maybe. But that's going to be it for today. I'm going to leave you, um, me and my bard friend. There we are. We're going to gonna leave you. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more uh, swords and magic and stuff, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.